Alafu uko down mtoni kulikuwa na a lot of stones mawe so akungeza kulimwa so kulikuwa tuna grass na a lot of those big stones zenye ungeenda you can sit on those stones and relax i remember my bros and the cousins na wengine walikuwa nenda wana swim huko ndani kwa maji and then after wanakuja wanakaa juu ya mawe wanaota jua they put on their clothes wanapanda mlima wanaenda juu nyumbani that place used to be used to have a lot of two hills milima milima mabonde yeah so that's my grandpa's area na huko mtoni kulikuwa kumejaa a lot of arrow roots different arrow roots by the way kuna one type of arrow roots yenye nakumbuka ilikuwa inachemshwa overnight <laughs> Yaani unachemsha kuanzia like 6 in the evening until 6 in the morning ndio utaweza kula hiyo arrowroots. Kuna zile za white ndani, kuna hizi zenye za kawaida tu za red ndani, alafu kuna kisima huko, kuna majani, kahawa, yani ishamba used to be very very beautiful shamba. I used to love this that place. Eh? And then the games that we used to play Ah, is also same in the evenings. Alafu mbembe there are many hills eh, to mabonde. So in, especially mkicheza like hide and seek. Yaani mwenye anawatafuta <laughs> itakuwa shida. Kwa some will go up the trees, wengine wameingia kwa bench, kulikuwa na a lot of benches. Wameenda wamejificha kwa bench, kuna mwingine akosaidia juu. So eh, ilikuwa hard time. Tulikuwa tunakimbizana huko. <laughs> Yani I used to enjoy that life a lot. So now back to school life. Hmm. I've joined class 3 and thing and then my brother joins class 4 me in class 3 I had to repeat. My teacher hmm. my teacher Mrs. Ryongo still remember her very well. Aliniambia you have to repeat to learn Kimeru. Nili repeat. And then after that I continued with the classes. Baka I completed class 8 and joined high school and after high school I went to college. And also the church was just nearby so Sundays we could go to church weekdays if it's wednesday we go to church i remember i used to love church a lot back then especially during my youth time and i remember i think uh one time i came home late but i think that i was still in sikumbuki still in sunday school nilikuja home late kutoka church this is a uh, wednesdays nilitandikwa i was beaten <laughs> My dad nilimkuta ameshaarudi I was beaten but anyway stay kwa cha kwenda church and I used to love it and during my youth time tulikuwa tunaenda a lot tulikuwa tuna have a lot of activities like visiting the needy helping the community we used to go to the mountain to pray fast and pray hmm? to pray and fast <laughs> during our times Ah, thanks to our leaders wali to shape lakini i used to pray a lot we used to go to for morning glories kuomba in the morning unamko unaenda kuomba i think some of those prayers have really helped and god has answered some of them and we could even go for overnight prayers so yeah those were the good memories that i could remember about my village life life wasn't that good as the busia life because a lot of things changed my mom was a profession was a teacher by profession but siju kwa nini hakutafuta kazi maybe i don't know so alikuwa tu anakanga to home and you know now he has six kids wa <laughs> kutekia care so So my dad is the one who used to go to town. Sijua alikuwa anafanya kazi gani by the way. Anakuja jioni. 
yeah life wasn't that good but we survived yeah and i really enjoyed those days i still remember them and i always remember that place my uh, great grandpa's homestead i wish i can have such a uh, homestead that is full of flowers mini trees eh? nice garden that was a nice place to live but after he passed on i think the sons divided the shamba so kilam to akachukua shamba yake many of them the many of the trees were cut down the fruits so the place has really changed yeah but it's life mm -hmm. yeah guys so that was my childhood story and memory so what's yours what's your story i believe each one of us has a story even if you grew up in town you have a story so that's the end of our story guys remember to subscribe like and share so bye bye until the next i'll see you in the next one